Hey guys, welcome back to Aimless Moto. So today's going to be a little quick hitter of a fix here. Um, I got a 1976 Yamaha RD400 that I just finished restoring. And when I put the shifter back on, when I'm riding this around, this just bounces around all over the place. Um, so what's happening is those these little teeth in here on this spline are worn away on either both of the shaft and the shifter itself or one or the other. Um, they're basically, every time this vibrates, basically it's it's causing more damage. It's not going to fix itself. Um, a lot of people have tried wrapping tape around the spline, putting this back on and, and tightening it back down. But I'm going to show you the quick, most quick and most effective way to solve this problem. And uh, the first thing we're going to have to do is remove the shifter from the bike. So uh, unfortunately I swapped my original bolt out, which was a 10 mil for a Allen head key. Uh, the Allen head key, um, it's not a lot of space back there. So I've loosened up my exhaust so I can get the space I need to get that Allen key out. Once I get that out, we'll put it in a bench vise and I'll show you guys the quick fix. All right, so what I've done here is I've cleaned it up with a little bit of uh, brake clean. We're gonna throw it in the vise like this until this top seam closes up. Now the uh, the top seam it looks like is pretty much touching, and I think that's because just of the years of wear that this bike has had, um, it, it's just been worn away so much that now it's as tight as it could ever be, and it's never going to clamp on to the spline as it did before. The only tool you're going to need is this. The width of the hacksaw blade is about 30 thou, maybe a little bigger than that. Um, so, I mean, you could pretty much gap a spark plug with how thick that this uh, the blade is. So that distance should give us a little bit more flex and allow us to tighten down that bolt. So let's saw this up and I'll show you the aftermath. All right, so there we are. We've just gone through with the hacksaw blade. I have not clamped this down anymore. So we got a lot more room to play with. Let me clean this up, uh, probably pull it right out. Got a little bit of deburring to do on the back here. I'm just going to quickly hit it with a file and a little bit more of that brake clean. All right, so we're going to throw this back on. Standard position is uh, shifter is pretty much level with the foot peg. So let me get this bolt started. We'll tighten it down. We'll see how we did. And just like that, major success. It is much tighter. As you can see, the bottom of the bolt actually comes up higher in the clamp. And uh, there is some in and out play, which is normal. Um, that's going to be pushed against the C clips that are inside there, which are also against thrush washers. So in and out play uh, is fine. It's just the flopping around that we wanted to get rid of. And as you can see now, when I wiggle the shifter, it's moving that shaft no matter what. So this will be much nicer to drive around without the... Uh, shifter wiggling around all over the place. Um, I was worried because the more you let this um, wiggle itself loose, the, the worse you're gonna, the worse the splines are gonna get. Um, I don't think this is hardened steel, it may be. I'm pretty sure the shaft is hardened steel. So one or the other is gonna break eventually and, and they're gonna wear each other out. So this is the quickest fix. I did just saw through that, so I'm guessing it's not hardened steel because it did saw fairly quickly. Um, but that's all you need is about the width of a, um, uh, hacksaw blade and it's it's perfect um, you, you do have to torque it down a little bit more because you are gonna stretch this metal more than it's ever been stretched uh, maybe heating it a little bit would help prior to installation just to kind of anneal it and make it a little bit softer um, but I had no problem I just had to make make sure your bolt is stronger uh, than like a grade five or you know a grade two hardware bolt you know stainless steel like I said, th this was that, um, I'll throw it up here, whatever hardness this bolt is. Something like that would be perfect. Uh, so yeah, I think the one thing I'm going to do here is just clean up this missing rib here. I'll probably take this off, cut that off, and flip it around the other way, just so this looks a little bit better. But uh, yeah, that's how you fix a loose shifter uh, lever on a shifter shaft. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe. And... Uh, Come back for more videos. We're going to be doing some more videos on this bad boy. This is my uh, 
my new baby. Catch you later.